Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Cobweb, a Korean comedy from 2023 that stars Song Kang-ho and Im Soo-jung. It was directed by Kim Ji-woon. Now, I was skeptical going into this one, primarily because even though I do consider Kim to be one of the best Korean directors of the last quarter century, he's only made one legitimately good film in the last 13 years, and that was the Age of Shadows from 2016. The Last Stand from 2013 is like watchable fluff, uh, not nearly as bad as other people say, but really the down point was Along the Wolf Brigade from 2018, which was a big disappointment, and that was his last film. So Cobweb really needed to be a return to form for him. Now this is set in Seoul during the early 1970s, the film director, Kim Ki-yul, played by Song Kang-ho, is obsessed with the fact that the ending of his already wrapped film, Cobweb, would be better if he did some additional reshoots. And that's your premise, straight up. And throughout the movie, we're shown two different kinds of scenes. You get scenes shown in color, depicting the events that happen while the crew is filming under constraints of time and censorship, and scenes shown in black and white, which represent the actual movie that they made. Now, the film begins in pretty energetic fashion, and it's, uh, it's a black and white scene from the movie they're making, and Im Soo Jung is going psycho with a roaring rainstorm outside, and then we seamlessly transition to color with Song Kang Ho in his director's seat, you know, yelling cut and providing some guidance. And the story is set up immediately, uh, with Song contemplating out loud that he's going crazy and simply must reshoot the ending of this movie for the purpose of making it a true masterpiece. And you get some background early on, which is expanded through his conversations and arguments with some movie critics at a local eatery. They consider him to be like a one-hit wonder. He made a, an impressive debut film, but followed it up with a bunch of tacky, low-quality movies. So he has something to prove. And I was thinking while watching this, is this a meta-observation of Kim Ji-woon in real life? Like, per perhaps after making The Wolf Brigade, and people were saying that uh, he was washed up, maybe? I don't know. I mean, I, the thought crossed my mind, actually, a, a few times while watching that film. And as I said before, you know, his last great piece of entertainment was probably... Uh, I saw the devil from back in 2010, for goodness sakes, right? So maybe he read the online criticism, maybe people were starting to give him some flack over his career, and maybe he felt that he had something to prove while making this movie. So that was just an observation I had while watching this, and I, I think there's got to be some truth to it. Uh, but I like the setup of the movie. You have a very slight manic quality of the characters in a stressful time-restricted situation. They endure all kinds of inconveniences while attempting to make this, uh, uh, do these reshoots for the film. And it's not just the challenges of movie making. There's a censorship committee that's watching over their every move, so they need to ensure that the new script and the scenes that they shoot get approved by the powers that be. And I was actually pretty surprised at just how quickly Cobweb moves in terms of pacing. I mean, you look at the runtime, it's over two full hours, but it has a very nice energy to it from start to finish. I was never bored, and I never felt like there was dull filler to sit through. It's densely packed and fun to watch. And the main reason is that the characters are constantly doing something. You know what I mean? There's constantly something going on. Now, this is a comedy, first and foremost, and it does feel like an old-school comedy. Uh, most of the laughs are situational, and they come from character conflicts, while shooting the movie, as well as personality traits of the characters themselves. So, you know, as an example, one of the actors or someone gets drunk, and the director himself has to adapt in the situation and act in the film himself as like a, a bit role. But he starts overacting and overselling it, and you have an actor there who has no idea how to handle the situation. Like, this is the director, like, who do you complain to, you know? And at the same time, you have one of the nutty producers who somehow think that this director's performance is like masterpiece level so you have this like situational scene of comedy that's actually pretty effective and funny and i really enjoy this style of humor because it demands good script writing 
effective character work, and an understanding of constructing situations to pull it off. It's also amusing to see modern Korean actors in scenes that would be from a classic era film. So even like their voice inflections are a little bit different to reflect the performances of the time, and it's, it's a bit of a love letter to classic film in that regard too. There are a few hilarious cameos in this, one of which occurs in the director's office and incorporates fire, and I was rolling during that scene. So I, this is a movie that uh, is a lot of fun to watch. Now, obviously, Song Kang-ho is great in this. I do think this is one of the better performances of his career, actually. It's in the upper echelon, and that's saying something. And this is probably the best film that Im Soo Jung has been in since 2012, well, All About My Wife. Really nice to see another impressive hit, uh, film being added to her resume. However, there's a different actress who kind of steals the show from everyone else, and that's Jun Yo Bin. And most people would uh, recognize her from Night in Paradise. But her character in Cobweb provides some of the funniest scenes. And she'll, like, she's very aggressive in her personality. She'll just, like, get up in people's faces. She'll, she'll insult the actors or do whatever she needs to do for the purpose of making this amazing film. Because she's, like, the only one here who's really backing up Song's character and thinking that this movie's going to be great, the movie that they're making. So she's pretty awesome in this. She's a riot. And then as an added bonus, the black and white scenes have a stylish flair to them and uh, adds to the visuals. So, all in all, I would say yes, Cobweb is most definitely a return to form for Kim Ji-woon. Uh, it's more fun than what you might expect just by reading the plot synopsis. And to be honest, I do think it's on par or even a little bit better than some of his earlier comedies from the 90s and, and early 2000s. I think it's that good. So I, I smiled and laughed quite a bit in this. So I strongly recommend it. It's a cool flick. And it's currently available streaming on both YouTube and Amazon. And as always, folks, I'll see you next time.